A block mounted on a spring is set into motion directly above a motion detector, which would register the distance to the block at intervals of 0.1 second. When the block is released, it is 7.2 centimeters above the motion detectors. The table below shows the data that collected by the motion detector during the first two seconds with a distance d measured in centimeters. When graphing the data, the time which is in seconds will be the x-axis, while the distance, which is in centimeters, will be the y-axis. First, we're going to do is draw the midline. So the midline can be identified by at the maximum value and the smallest value divided by 2, which is 14.3. So we have the midline. The second step is define the amplitude. The amplitude is a distance from the midline to the maximum value, but it also can be calculated by the absolute value of maximum value subtract minimum value divided by 2, which is 7.1. So now we have an A for the equation. The equation for the period is 2 pi over the absolute value of B. In this case, the absolute value of b is the x value of the lowest value of y, which would be 0 0.8. Plugging that into our equation, our answer will be 7.853. Now we have to find the phase shift. The easiest way to determine the phase shift is to determine how many units the starting point of standard sine curve has moved to the right or to the left. In this case, the phase shift will be 0 0.2. Now we have to find the vertical shift. The vertical shift is how many units the function has moved up or down from the original parent function. In this case, the midline, which is 14.3, will be the vertical shift, since the original midline will be at zero. The way to find the equation for our graph is that we are going to press the stat button on our calculator, go to edit, and then we're going to type in all of our x and y values in L1 and L2. Once we've done that, we're going to press stat button again, and we're going to go to calc and then press alpha and then C to quick shortcut to get to the sign reg. After we've done that, we're gonna to go to store reggie Q and press vars, and go to y vars, press function in y1 so that we can have it stored in our uh, y equals, and then we're gonna press calculate. Once we've pressed calculate, we're going to go to y equals, and we're gonna you're gonna notice that the equation is already into y1 since we did the store reggie Q. Next, we're gonna press graph, and then we're gonna make sure that we're in the right mode, which is radians, and our window should reflect what it's gonna be. So our x min should be negative five, max should be five, and min should be zero, and max should be 22, just to get a comfortable view. Next, once we graph, we should have a sine function. From there, we can calculate when x equals 3.8, the y value. What we're gonna do from there is going to press second trace, and then calculate the value when x equals 3.8. We're going to press enter, and then we're going to find that when x equals 3.8, y equals 20.800374. And that'll be our answer for the second portion of the question.